Hey there, Genvir. Um, so today we're going to be switching scenes using our menu system. Um, basically what this means is we'll press tab, we'll choose one, we'll press space and it will switch scene. I say switch scene, I don't actually mean switch scene, as you'll soon understand. Basically, uh, there are many ways that we could do this. Um, the initial way I looked at was packing this scene, storing it into the singleton, and then changing scene. Then to change back, you just unpack that and then set that as the current scene. So that seems like unnecessary effort when all we can really do, <laughs> when an easier method would probably be just to overlay a scene on top. Um, so then, how are we going to do this? We're going to create the scene that we want to switch to, uh, add a node to D, and we shall call this, this is going to be our Pokédex. Uh, for testing purposes, we're going to create a sprite, um, and just set it to the icon. The go dot icon, as it were. Stretch this out. Hideous. Um, save this as Pokédex. Po 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 Pokedex.tscn. We'll save it there. Um, and then we will go to our menu over here. Um, now then, now we want to see if the player has selected one. So if the menu is open and if input dot is action pressed and we're going to set this to um, UI underscore interact. So if they interact, press the interact key on, well, you can set it to whatever you want. If they press the interact key, then we will handle, let's stick with naming convention, handle interact nope too used to using other programming languages almost did a semicolon there classic mistake with python or gd script in this case handle interaction um then when the interaction is handled we'll just have if um Current label equals zero, right? Zero. Then we want to set the scene. And we'll do this by simply overlaying it. So, um, var node equals, um, load res colon slash slash uh, pokedex dot tscn um, okay so we're just going to set this to be the child and we can do this by simply uh, getting the world node we got the world node already nope so get node Slash root um, slash world, and then we're going to press dot add child, and then the node we'll be adding is node. There we go. Let's run this now. Oh. Oh. Now, classic mistake I did there. I spent, <laughs> I spelt handle wrong. Ah. Well, what, what a, a classic interaction. Uh, another thing that I should probably do is also set open to false. But 
I'm going to set open to false. I mean, uh, the if the menu is open to false, but not unpause the scene. That way the player stops interacting with the menu, but the world remains uh, closed. Uh, paused even. So to do that, we'll just set open to false in here. Ah, okay, so the problem I had here was I forgot dot instance. Actually, no, I'm going to change this to dot instance. And there we go. So we switch scene. Now to just make sure that the Pokedex is actually working. We're just going to shrink this down. I mean, if the menu stopped working, so... So we can't interact with the menu. Uh, so next time we're going to work on interaction. Uh, first thing we want to do in like preparation is set the pause mode to just process. And that'll stop it from, you know, pausing at all. Which is nice and nifty. So also that makes sense. Thanks for watching.